Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is glorious. Mini miracle for today is that all of our lilacs are starting to bloom. Oh, they smell so nice. Like the minute you walk outside, it's just so glorious. Honestly, Ellie, 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 come here. She is so cute, you guys. Ellie, she come is on. so cute. Like, Sophie and I are obsessed with her. I caved and put her hair in a little ponytail today. I used a soft ponytail, one that like comes out really easily, so that hopefully it won't break and it can grow. She's so cute. I threw out the chicken water today, <laughs> and she ran underneath it when I was throwing it out, so she's got chicken water face, so there's that. Gino's protecting Oh his my hair. gosh, honestly. Like, come on. Stormy? Nobody cares. How many horses do you see over there? Three. Chino will not let Penny eat or drink or have any fun because he's still protecting him from storm. Protecting, he's still protecting her from storm. Look, I brought an apple for my horse and now storm's gonna get it. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to today's video today. It is early in the morning because it's gonna be a scorcher today and Sophie wants to ride. Laura wants to ride too. Uh-oh. Come on, Ellie Belly. Come on, <laughs> come on, good girl. Get away from the food. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> He's like, I'll just help myself. Uh, can you turn the lights on? Please? Yeah, I'll go turn the lights on. I am gonna ride. I might not ride today, but I, I'm wearing shorts. My priority today is to get some sun. I'm wearing shorts. That's like my goal today. This is gonna be my year of joy. It's the year that I do everything that I want to do that gives me happiness. And today I'm gonna get some sun. It's the last day. It's gonna be super, super hot. It's the last day of hot? It's the last day of super hot. Tomorrow will be... So why am I riding today? Because we're riding in the morning. You should ride tomorrow too. This boy needs yeah. to work. We're still the outcast. I feel like he doesn't care that he's not fitting in. It's not him that's not letting him fit in. It's Chino. Who knew Chino was going to be the brat? Don't go near her baby. Newsflash, it's not even your baby. <laughs> I'm so mean. She's such a good foster mom. I love her, and I love that they're together, and I will never take them apart. If I never have to, I will never take them apart. <laughs> the baby really wants to play. Uh-oh. And then there's the protective mom. It's okay, Gracie. She can play with friends. Well, Chino finally left my mare alone. What if I want to ride her? Oh, also, Sam and Sophie said Chino's back to normal. Stop. All right, we are extra fly spraying our boy. Extra fly spray. This underneath boy. his stomach. Underneath his stomach especially. I need to go there. So tomorrow, tomorrow we're gonna go to the, to the tech store. Yeah, he also hates it. Yeah, you hate it? He hates spray bottles. Ellie's not completely sure of the arena right now, and it's because she keeps, she keeps getting shocked every time she comes down here. She goes through the arena, out under the fence, and then she gets shocked. And she's a little nervous about the horses. <laughs> Our mini just turned, she just rolled, and she turned into an Appaloosa, a true Appaloosa. My goodness. Hi. <laughs> He's such a funny boy. Hello, I brought an apple for you, but you were over here hiding in the in the corner, so I gave it to Storm because he came up to me. Maybe it's not worth stealing. The same old dirt road, dropping the kids off the school. Sophie 
actually brushes honey every single morning. Why are you being so, so grouchy? Let me see your eyes. Uh, brushes her every single morning. She sent me a video of her this morning after she brushed her. Yeah. So, Sophie, her hair is a mess now. <laughs> Now you get two ponies, Sophie. One doesn't go anywhere without the other. She's so adorable. Watching the, this, her dynamic play out reminds me of this story. I don't know if I told you guys. We once had this, uh, once we had a farrier come to take care of our horses. It was Chino and Finn at the time. And Chino was standing in the cross ties and he dropped his foot or something. He has like really heavy legs. And so he dropped his foot suddenly, almost landed on the farrier. So the farrier screamed at him, but not like in a mean, bad, awful way. He was just like, hey, like kind of thing. And Finn was in a stall and was watching. And Finn lost his mind. Like Finn charged the stall and was like yelling and like throwing a fit and was like, I will rip you to shed. I will rip you to shreds if you're mean to my horse. Farrier wasn't trying to be overly mean. He was just trying to say like, stop doing that because you're gonna hurt me. And Finn just went ballistic. I like teared up because it was so beautiful. It's beautiful to see them have relationships. And as frustrating as it is for us, I'm sure Gracie's like, oh, why do you keep bringing these strange boys into our house? I have to watch my child even more, which I understand. I understand Gracie, but once you get used to them, you'll know that they're not trying to hurt her. And if anybody tried to hurt her, we would make sure that it didn't happen. I promise. Gracie. There's a mosquito. Hi, with the pony. Okay, so when you go down to the barn and you've forgotten your dog halter, harness, harness, halter, harness, all of the things, um, you can use a little now tighten the neck piece a dog bit. halter. I just did the neck, this part. So this I'm going to show you in just a second. Okay. Ellie's getting the horsified. Neck. So her head goes through Paws one. Goes through. Paws go through the other, and then tie it around her waist. Like. So today's the day that Ellie's gonna learn to go down to the arena and not run around the arena and chase the horses. I wanna use my jump boots. All right, go put your jump boots on. Um, then we got a dog leash that I keep in the barn. Oh, uh, yep, those are standard this horse size. Yeah, I know, I keep it in the barn. <laughs> She's so depressed. She's like, I thought this was the free place where I could just do whatever I want. All right, so we're not using the jump boots. She just wants to be able to like keep him safe and feel like she's doing more for Put him. Stuff on him. Put stuff on him and make him look beautiful. You you got it wrapped around your ankle. Yeah, I do. Come on. Come on, get it. I had a Bring dream recently that I bought Sophie. Bring a stool and get your dog. Wow. So smart. That I bought Sophie a Bring western a saddle for her birthday. Wait, I'll hold her when we get down there. Let's go. All these people oh, no. complaining. Come on. Come on. Up and at it, so we set up some weaving tires, and then he's like, Oh no. We're, I put my chair over here so I can see better. Come on, little Missy. Uh oh, that's not gonna work. Come on. Ellie thinks that the arena is for her. <laughs> She's, like, <laughs> She's like, I'm not coming out.
go, go. Okay, just go. pass the spot where you, yeah, just keep go. going until you pass the spot where you stopped last time. Go. Okay, you made it a lap. Woohoo! Hands forward. Forward hands. Going up the hill. There you go. There you go. Good job. There, I don't know for sure that my saddle fits them. It appears to fit them. We sent pictures to the trainer and she said that it does seem like it fits them. I even can put my hand underneath there all the way through while Sophie's sitting on him. So I think it's okay, but I'm a nervous Nelly and I just wanna make sure, and Gabby wants to make sure too. We wanna see if she rides them in English, if he's able to move forward more and just kind of see the difference between the two saddles because I don't want her riding them in a saddle that doesn't fit. So all the horses are out here. Like we feed them down in the back of this arena now, in the back of that field. I don't know if you guys can see. We feed them far back down here. We throw tons of hay out here for them and we want them to come down here and eat because there's more room for them. So what ends up happening though is that they get hot and then they all go stand in the arena. But now that Sophie's out here, they are all, like now that we're out here, they're all out here. Chino just went into the arena and got a drink and then started hollering for the girls. He's like, help, I'm alone in here. Okay, so I'm worried about the saddle. I'm worried about the Western saddle fitting him. So we looked at like his sweat marks and stuff and I don't think that the saddle's that much of a big deal, but I'm worried about the saddle pad. We don't know. We're gonna have to have it checked before we ride him in it again. Because even like five minutes in a saddle that doesn't fit is too many minutes. Like I, it doesn't seem like it's it's bad, but I, I'm just nervous. I'm just a nervous person. I need somebody that's a professional to say, yes, this fits or no, it doesn't. Fucking my dog. Uh, I just realized, I just remembered. Look, Chino's back. He was out there the whole time. All the horses were back there the whole time Storm was riding. And now they're all, and now Chino's back. Palomino ears. You see Palomino ears? Well, not now. So they all came yeah, back with us. Do. Yeah. We're gonna either have to start feeding them in the arena so they're comfortable. Would you do that though? If you could keep the, the sun off your horses, feed them in the arena, it just means a lot more cleaning. Would you do it? No, because me and dad clean stalls every morning. <laughs> and, and we clean the arena. And we clean the whole barn. Yeah, so it's not worth it for you? It's not. We do put put hay in the, in the shade too. What time is it? Maybe the boys can come in and eat. Look, oh. pooped again. <laughs> so the boys are going into stalls for Lunch. Good job, Storm. It's like, where's my friend? I am so glad we rode this morning. That's how hot it is. Tomorrow is supposed to actually be like regular, regular spring temperature, like 20 degrees Celsius. Today is like almost 30. What are you doing? I'm going down to check on what Sam and your dad and Gabby are doing. Yeah. Bye. What's happening with your car? What are you doing? Changing tires. Changing the tires. Summer tires. Wow, look at that. It looks so fancy. So the next thing we should get you is like a cover for your steering wheel. I have one. Someone bought her one actually. Now I just remembered. That is right. So did you help put the tires on? 
Wow, you are red. <laughs> you are hot. It's actually Mother's Day weekend, you guys, and that means that my barn is gonna be clean. I'm so I am so excited about that. Anyway, it's time to let the horses out. Do you let Chino out first? I keep repeating this because I know there's always people who will say something that will be the complete opposite of what we're doing. We put the boys in the stalls at lunch because we want to like make it private. We want to ensure that they eat. When they're all out there together, it's like, all right. who do no, you let out first? No. Um, grab the door. All right, I'll grab the door. So when we let them all out here together, they just mess around. Like the boys chase the girls and then, did, did you just lock my dog in there? Yeah. So we put the boys in the stalls. Yeah, I already did them. We put the boys in stalls. He's slow. Yeah, he's slow, he's slow. Um, at lunch so that they can eat what they need to without distraction. Ooh, I feel a little more pocket in the socket. <laughs> Go Storm. Go Storm. Go. And horse number two. So that's all we do. We just put them in there so that they have like a big lunch. Like Storm's already getting a bit of a bigger belly. Alright, come on. Let my dog out, please. And instantly the girls show up. <laughs> Whoa. Storm does not like Gracie now. I don't blame him. Storm and Chino have a bromance going on though. They love each other. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> He's like, bring me food, woman. <laughs> I don't want to go out there. I've seen a couple people say that Chino looks bad. Chino looks great. His weight, he's lost a lot of muscle. The reason he's lost a lot of muscle is because Gabby's not riding him. We're waiting. He recently had a little um, issue that is fixed now. The reason he's losing muscle is because Gabby's not riding him right now. We're trying to repair his feet. Instead of throwing shoes on as a quick fix, we're trying to repair his feet back to the way that they were when we bought him. So it's just taking a little bit of time. He's gonna lose muscle. He's never gonna look as good. He's not gonna look as good as he did when he was all muscled up. But we're, uh, but we take extra care to make sure that he's eating a lot. He's the big one that will come out here and stand guard of the girls and keep them away from Storm. And all that kind of behavior means that he's not eating and we want him to be eating. So we just shove them in the stall in the heat of the afternoon when it's really hot. Storm appreciates that, I know. And then we let them eat as much as they need to. And then we put them out. We leave the girls outside to eat in the afternoon because once we take the boys away, it seems to work out better. They go out there and they eat. <laughs> Ew. I see what's happening. Storm and Penny. Uh-oh, he's going down. do come in at night as well and have dinner in their stalls so that we make sure that they're getting everything that they need. The girls are really good at managing their weight. The cutest puppy! <laughs> oh, <laughs> She never stays back long enough for me to video her. Molly likes me the best now. I know. Molly literally spends her whole spends her whole day outside with Sophie. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 